There's been quite a lot of activity happening in outer space right above our heads. After having conquered their respective industries, the world's billionaires have a new mission, launching rockets and settling colonies in outer space. The old space race was a 20th century competition between the United States and Russia, basically to see who would achieve space flight first. The new space race is, dare we say, a lot more glamorous. The billionaire space race is an intense rivalry between new space entrepreneurs entering the industry. Billionaires like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Richard Richard Branson and Yuri Milner are entering this private industry space race, which involves sending rockets into the ionosphere, orbital launch rockets, and suborbital tourist space flights. It may seem like a recent thing, but billionaires have been funding space travel for decades. We might think that the notion of space travel was purely a government interest, but some of the first steps towards making this possible was taken by the private sector. Today, the two biggest suborbital space flight service companies are SpaceX and Blue Origin. There's been a long history of rivalry between these two companies, with each filing lawsuits against the other and getting into fights on Twitter? No, seriously, take a look at this headline from just a month ago. This is an actual battle. But why exactly are billionaires so interested in space? We're going to answer that question and many more in today's video. Welcome back to King Luxury. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment down below which space flight service are you likely to use for your future vacation to space? Blue Origin or SpaceX? Let us know. Who among us hasn't been intrigued by space, but because of politics and state controlled facilities, exploring the skies has been limited to astronauts. As the reins on space exploration loosened, private companies stepped in. Advances in space tech funded by the government largely dropped, and now it is the obsession of the wealthy who seek to enhance profits. There are two revenue channels for those who choose to enter the space launch industry. The first is revenue from government agencies. For example, the U.S. military and some private clients have tapped into SpaceX for cargo missions, and the company has been in talks with NASA to launch American astronauts from U.S. soil. The second revenue channel is from commercial demand. It must be getting pretty clear that the space initiative is not just a noble quest to further mankind. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start with a quick history lesson. In 2000, Jeff Bezos founded his aerospace manufacturing company called Blue Origin to make space travel more accessible and affordable. This marked the start of the privatization of space travel. Blue Origin was chosen to develop rockets for the U.S. Air Force to launch into space, and this deal is said to make Bezos 100 $109 million. His space tourism rockets, too, will make him around $300,000 per trip. Elon Musk closely followed two years later with his space exploration company, SpaceX. His aim was to reduce space transportation costs to fulfill his dream of colonizing Mars and making humans an interplanetary species. He also believes it can protect our species should a third world war ever break out. In the event of a world war, which Elon isn't saying will happen, but he didn't say it won't happen, the human race might face extinction. Having some colonies on Mars and even on the moon could keep the species intact. SpaceX has completed 21 rocket launches launches in 2018 and even secured a $130 million contract with the U.S. Air Force to launch a satellite into space in this year. By these numbers alone, you can see how much billionaires stand to make in the space industry. Seeing this, Richard Branson and Paul Allen followed, and Mark Cuban invested $500,000 into Relativity Space, an aerospace manufacturing company that taps into 3D printing potential. They aim to be the first company to successfully launch a 3D printed vehicle into orbit. This one is a more recent entry. Relativity Space is still in the testing phase. They hope to launch their very first rocket in 2021, but so far, the results look promising. 3D printing seems like a great way to reduce manufacturing costs. Elon Musk said SpaceX was working on figuring out how to reuse rockets like airplanes, so the cost to access outer space would significantly reduce. Some of their tests of reusable rockets have been successful, but the safety of these space flights is still very questionable. You don't want to compromise on that to save a few bucks. Right now, it seems like the biggest money maker for these billionaires is perfecting a flight system to outer space and making it affordable for the masses. While you aren't wrong, this venture won't make them nearly as much money as what you're about to see. Their interest in space goes well beyond space tourism for the thrill seekers, even if that's what gets the most amount of media attention. It isn't just about fulfilling a dream. Like we said, this race is not just for commercializing space travel and making it affordable to the masses, it's also to enhance profits. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the King Luxury 
Luxury Channel for more videos all about luxury. Building a spacecraft and launching it into orbit successfully is no easy task, but billionaires have the means and resources to pull it off because they can see the opportunities it would provide them in the long run. The space industry is estimated to reach $1 trillion in 2040. Currently, the private sector is making money aiding satellite launches for governments around the world. The satellite industry is currently worth $258 billion, and things like cable TV and GPS systems are heavily reliant on them, which makes satellites a huge market. This is why billionaires are right to own space. Conquering it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. It really is a situation of the early bird gets the worm. Currently, Elon Musk is working on a project called Starlink that is supposed to fund his dream of colonizing Mars. The project aims to place 12,000 satellites in the form of constellations around the Earth. This will provide high-speed internet to the entire globe, and a batch of 60 satellites have already been deployed. Once the project is complete, Elon Musk will see a return of $3 billion. Well, at least my YouTube videos won't buffer anymore. Even Jeff Bezos has expressed his interest in building human colonies in space, which would have a more controlled environment unlike our planet. Earth is susceptible to earthquakes, tsunamis, and many naturally occurring unpredictable disasters, which we won't have to worry about if we're living in this incredible floating city in space. Of course, then there comes the question of who would govern these colonies? Would it be private corporations that put it there? Or the government bodies that provided support in the home base? Russian billionaire Igor Asher Bailey, who has also been participating in the new space industry believes governments should be done away with altogether. He states that there is one humanity, one unity. What would that world even look like? That's probably an issue only in the distant future, but it's definitely interesting to think about. There's also growing interest in off-Earth manufacturing. Once Bezos, Musk, and Branson figure out a way to get machinery into space, we can expect to see orbiting factories making product for sale on Earth. And yes, that means there's a high risk of human labor being almost completely replaced with machines. There are benefits to working in the cosmos. Microgravity conditions in space are ideal for developing protein and virus crystals, enhancing drug research, and providing treatments for infections and diseases. Moving manufacturing off the planet can also improve the production of high-tech materials otherwise affected by the Earth's gravity. The Z-Bland fiber optical cable, for example, which can transmit light over long distances for communication, lasers, and internet. Setting up orbital manufacturing that yields innovation in medicine and technology will undoubtedly fetch these companies a few hundred million, to say the least. So we've seen how much money there is in the space industry. Hopefully it's a little clearer why all these billionaires are in such a hurry to conquer space. That's it for this video. If you want to be notified the next time we upload, make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.